I needed this <laughs> very badly today, you guys. Hey everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, oh my goodness, thank you so much. You guys, I don't know about you, but I am I'm dragging booty this afternoon. I I just I just can't get with it today. Anybody else? I seriously hope you're having a fabulous day so far. Today we're going to do a little shop my stash action because it's 2021. I'm trying to stay organized. I'm trying to stay on top of using up products and not being wasteful this year. And I definitely feel like shop my stash helps with that so, 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 so much. So that is what we will be doing today. Before we dive on into this video, if you haven't, click the subscribe button. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Join the Lash Fam. You will not regret it. All right, uh, let, let's just get started. I thought for fun today, I would also do my makeup with what I pick for the Shop My Stash. If you guys like that idea, give this video a thumbs up. I do have a couple things here on my desk already that I want to share with you. I currently have a Blur Activator Primer by Joa. I am trying to use this up a little bit more and then it's actually going to go over here in my little hospital makeup bag that I will be taking with me when baby comes. This one is staying on the desk. I truly, truly love this primer. If you haven't tried it, it is so creamy, smoothing. It is seriously a dupe for the Hourglass Mineral Veil, like a serious dupe. This is such good quality and it's from CVS and it's not expensive. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's great. I have this, I think I have about three spritzes left in here. So we'll definitely need to grab another setting spray. And then I am trying to use up this shade and light palette. We could skip this drawer because this is my primer drawer and I'm going to keep focusing on the Joa. And then let's go up here. This is open. This is the Heart Candy Glamouflage Concealer. So I'm going to use this one first because the other concealers I have aren't open yet. This powder is also open so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder foundations. I recently started playing with a couple of these after my recent declutter. I've used this one. I've used this one. This. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. The packaging is beautiful. The finish is beautiful. I actually got my right color. I love it. But I'm really wanting to use this one because it is a little bit too tan for me right now. I feel like it might oxidize just a little bit. And I think I can mix it with that Glamouflage concealer because the concealer is very light. I'm not going to pull anything out of here because I want to keep using that Kat Von D palette. I usually don't pull a blush from a Shop My Stash because I don't have that many. I decluttered so many that I don't feel like this is overwhelming. And I don't know, I just feel like blush is one of those things, depending on the look, you kind of have to have different color options. So these will just stay. Ooh, maybe I'll use this one. Okay, yes, I'm gonna pull this one since it is winter and my skin is a bit on the drier side. Now would be a good time for me to focus on using this up and I'm really excited to try it. I'm gonna just skip lippies for Shop My Stash and go with using different ones each day. Just because again, I don't know, lipstick is like, I need variety with my looks. Okay, I'm definitely gonna really focus on, whoa, focus on using this up because I have another primer I wanna start using. I'm actually gonna pull this out. I actually just got this. It had really good reviews online. I don't like it. I'm having the hardest time finding mascara I love. So I actually think I'm gonna declutter this even though it's not even old, but it bothers my eyes. The other day at work, my eyes just felt like flakes were falling in there. It was driving me nuts. And I'm gonna try this Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes. I wanna find a really good like tubing mascara or a mascara that um, isn't waterproof. I don't like waterproof mascara. It says smudge proof, we'll see. I think I will actually pull a highlighting palette. This one is older, so I'm gonna pull it. It's really not, it's more of like a radiant palette, not really a highlight. Kind of like the hourglass powders. So I'm gonna pull this and focus on using it. Eyeshadows. Hmm. 
since I decluttered so many, I'm probably not going to pull an entire palette to sit out, but I've definitely been reaching for my custom palette more because it's older and I'm trying to use it up. It really is good quality. There's a lot of Makeup Geek in here, a lot of Coastal scents, and all of these are actually really nice. So this won't be sitting on the desk, but I'm gonna focus on using it. All right, let's get to applying some product because I'm looking rather not put together today. Mm. Okay, anyways, going in with my favorite little primer here. It does kind of lighten the skin and leave a cast. I would think it, if you are more dark complected it would, but I don't find that it shows through my foundation, which is important. When you put this on, you will see what I'm talking about. It makes your skin feel so stinking, sm like, so smooth. I changed my mind. I am gonna pull one primer because I think I probably will end up using, I'm looking at this now and I'm like, okay, I think I'm only gonna use this for a few more days before it goes in the hospital bag because there's less in there than I thought. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll use this one just since I've got all the other pretty fresh stuff out. I think we're gonna, we're gonna set that one out. We'll see when I dive into it, if I'm already onto the next shot my stash, but It'll be out just in case. I've been really bad about using eyeshadow primer lately, so I'm glad I'm gonna start focusing on this again because I bought the P. Louise primer and I really wanna try it. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow that I'm so upset that I don't know what it is. I had to put one of those magnets on the back of it. I have no idea what eyeshadow this is. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but on the eyes, it is stunning. So I think I'm gonna go in with this kind of like coolly toned taupey color first and just get that crease ready. I'm not going for anything too crazy today. Just like a nice simple oh she tried but she didn't try too hard. And now I'm gonna go in with this very peachy just kind of skin tone color and just buff out those edges. Lately I've kind of been pulling the corners out a bit when I blend how many things can I drop in one day? <laughs> Almost dropped this whole thing. Gonna pick up this light white and it is a shimmer so I'm gonna just be oh so delicate. Tap off my brush and I just wanna hit right under the brow before I do my brow. Grabbing that peachy tone one more time and gonna try to cancel out just a little bit of the blue I get right in that inner corner. I'm gonna use up the little bit I have left to wet my brush. I feel like this stunning shade needs a little moisture to really help it, bam, make it impactful. I love this brush when I'm trying to define an edge, E3 by ColourPop. I don't know if the camera will do this justice. Honestly, it's stunning. I'm so sad that I don't know what in the world this eyeshadow is. It's beautiful. I always like to carry it up above my natural crease because I've got little tiny lids and then you wouldn't really even see what's going on there. It takes a little building to get this color to be really wow, but it has such a diamond-like finish. There's just this beautiful amount of like reflect, almost glitter. It's not chunky, but it's there's something going on in there. It's so beautiful. I'm wiping off my brush, the same one. I'm gonna go in with another really stunning foiled finish, this pinky tone. And I'm just kind of dabbing my brush in there, just taking a little product, not a lot. And I don't know why I like to do this when I kind of do a, it's basically a cut crease. It's not like, you know, I haven't gone in with the whole concealer and that whole thing, but I've got kind of that defined edge. If you go in with something, just a little lighter than what you started with, it really makes that edge pop. But you gotta pick something that's close to what you are using, but just a, just a little lighter. I feel like it helps the light catch that edge there. I've really been loving a color switch, by the way. So handy. And then I don't know what I wanna do for the rest of the eye. 
part of me wants to go in and be like ultra bold but then part of me is like no don't do extra bold i'm just gonna try this i don't know how it's gonna turn out but this color here it's like a very bronzy brown it seriously looks like i've never used it or i've used it very little so I i'm gonna try i'm gonna try it it might be a little too much shimmer on shimmer but who cares i'm not trying to impress anybody today we'll see what happens just barely pull out that edge i just i just like a just a little elongation there and then for funsies i think i'm going to go in with this like soft caramely shade that's also a shimmer kind of like a golden caramel gonna pick up just a little bit and kind of fade those pretty it's still soft like uh, I like it it shall do now this first color I use the glittery one it definitely will have some fallout so I'm gonna go in with my little makeup wipe I can see little bits of glitter everywhere I definitely feel like this eye is not quite as dark as this one so I, I just need to darken it just a little bit, just a little tiny bit, just a little bit. Don't want to go too crazy. While I'm at it, I think I'm going to go back in with this very light pink. And I just want to pull that line over a little bit more. I'm going to reapply just a little bit of this primer since I did wipe away a good amount here where I have some major pores. Now we shall go in with my little concoction here, Pretty Fresh, the Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation and the Glamouflage. I'm gonna make a concoction here because this one is too dark for me right now. It's not terrible. Like if, if this was more like October, I probably would have had enough color left over from summer to make it work, but it wasn't working when I tried it by itself. I just used the back of my hand as a mixing palette. It gets easy peasy lemon squeezy. I start with a smaller amount because I can always get more. I have been all about makeup brushes lately. I don't know. I just haven't wanted to mess with the sponge. I use it in the final step to press in my setting spray, but I haven't been using it for foundation. It's just a brush is so easy. I don't have to wet anything. Ooh, those, those work really well together yay because I've been loving coverage but I don't want to look like super super heavy cakey I always work extra product off of my brush on a rag because I find it when it comes to cleaning my brushes then later on it's so much easier then I'm going to use what's still on the back of my hand and just press this under the eye Honestly, I'm like really happy with that combo. It looks good. Around the nostrils looks a little strange, but honestly, that always happens to me. My nostrils just do not like to let product like lay pretty around them. Well, I'm not upset about that, so that's awesome. Now I shall go in with my little setting powder here. Lately I've been using a small brush to set under the eyes. I do like this powder. It can darken your concealer just a little bit. It's got that peachy tone in it. And then I'm gonna set the rest of the face with a big brush. I've been setting everything lately, partially because I wanna use up these powders, partially because I really want things to stay put, but that setting spray comes in real handy so that I don't look too dry. Funny thing about this powder, if you've used it, you know that, but it kind of floats in your mouth as you're using it. It, it tastes like peaches. <laughs> and I still need to do my eyebrows, so I'm going to dive back in here. I told myself I'm not buying brow products because I have so many eyeshadows to use up. I did dye my hair darker, so finding a good shade has been easier. I have lots of dark browns. And then I have been using this got to be hair gel for my brow gel. It works really, really well. My one word of advice is don't use it with an actual brow spoolie, like a nice brow spoolie, because it really gets 
cakey in there and it's very hard to get out. So I've been using disposable wand. You could totally clean an old mascara wand and use it. I just put a little bit and I really just focus it on the front. I like to lift the front just a little bit, just so it looks a little bit more fluffy. Now, before I go on with the rest of the face, I have to figure out what I want to do with the under eye. I might try this kind of goldeny, light gold color. Pull it into that inner corner. It's almost too light, you know? It, I think it's too light. And I'm going to go in with this taupey brown bronzy shade because it's just the other shades like becoming one with my skin. A little better. I kind of wish I would have done something differently, but we're here now. Now just doing the color I did on the top there, making it look cohesive. Now it's been a really long time since I've used any powders like this where they're very luminescent. So I'm not sure how I want to use them. I'm going to actually try kind of picking up all of them. We'll see how this goes. Focusing more on the lighter ones. Try to use them kind of like an hourglass powder. Just like an all over radiance. But not going so heavy handed that it looks like I put um, highlighter all over my face. That would not be good at all. Okay, I see a little something. It's not extreme at all. It's very skin like. It's just like, oh, you have kind of a lit within glow. Oh, these are nice. And these are my hard candy also. And they do have other shades, but this one just reminded me so much of Hourglass. I was like, okay, I need to try it. And it's been in my stash forever and I've barely used it. Now I'll go in with this bad boy. I've just been doing a very light contour every day, trying to use it up. I kind of stopped contouring for a long time, but I need to use up these products. I mix them together, I tap off my brush, and I just use a very light hand. You can go bold though. If you really want to chisel your face, this palette will do it. Some days I do more of a nose contour, some days I just do a little touch of something. Then I like to add just a little color to the forehead. Okay. Hmm. So far, all of these products are working together extremely well, which is really exciting because a lot of these I had no experience with, so I really didn't know how they would play together, but they're playing nicely. This is my go-to favorite blush right now, e.l.f. Primer Infused. It's wonderful. And then I've been playing with my blush, my blush placement, really focusing it out here. I like it. Sassy when I put the blush out here. It's time to spray this face. I'm excited to try this. Oh, keep the cap on. It's kind of leaking out when I, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm scared of the mister. You never know. Oh, oh, okay. Mmm, I love coconut. That is not the smell I was expecting. I do feel like it's leaking out a little bit. I thought it would have more of like a spa-like smell, like a, kind of like a touch of dewy skin mist. To me, it smells a lot like sunscreen. I love that smell, but I think a lot of people would not like that. And that is a setting spray that doesn't leave a ton of radiance or anything. It's probably going to moisturize the skin because of the hyaluronic acid, but like this one, the redo, this leaves you looking dewy dewy if you love a dewy finish. This one almost, I feel like it almost made me look a little more mattified. I don't know how I feel about this yet, you guys. This one's up in the air. Mascara. Okay, don't want to forget that. This is the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes. Okay, I do like this one. It's working really well on my top lashes. Do wish it was a little, just a little bit more black. I do have to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. My goodness. Mr. Abel came in here and got in my trash in that short amount of time I was gone. That stinker butt. Now, now that that is set for a second, I'm gonna try a second coat. I do, this gives me some good length. Okay, I'm a fan. Essence really seems to know what they're doing when it comes to mascara. Now for lips to finish it. I want something hydrating, so I think I'm gonna use this Sephora with the font that is 
so small I have no chance of reading that. Well, that is not the color I thought it was. Hmm. That was not the one I wanted. That's not what I was going for. This is the one I wanted. It's kind of a brownie tone. There we go. That's the color I wanted. All right, this is the finished look. I'm actually really impressed with a lot of these products I picked for the Shop My Stash. I'm excited to keep playing with them. The only thing I'm really on the fence about, you guys, is this spray. If you have used this spray, let me know what you think. I really feel that I look a little more matte using it. Like right here, the powder looks a little dry where if I use something like this, it wouldn't. So I'm like, that's perplexing because you're supposed to be hydrating. Now maybe it's hydrating the skin, but not really the makeup. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna keep using it. It's not terrible. I just thought it would give me a little more dew, a little more moisture, a little more glow. But overall, I'm really happy with how all this came together. I feel like my skin looks really radiant, but it doesn't look like shiny or glittery and my skin looks smooth. The concealer and foundation went really well together. All the products just played really nicely together, so I'm actually looking forward to continue using these products. I hope you guys enjoyed this Shop My Stash, and as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.